before you click the dislike button, before you do it, don't hear me out and watch the video, all right? Don't, 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 don't. F Okay, what I was trying to say is you can dislike all you want, just give me interaction and push me out to more people, please. But at least watch the video first, or even after. Because I do want to say that I'm not going to be talking about, like, the stuff that is obviously bad that Cindy has done. I'm not going to talk about the birdie stuff, etc, etc. Because that's just, like, obviously bad and I don't need to explain that it's bad. But in this video, I'm going to be going over some of the things that Cindy Barrow 3 has been called out on that I find are pretty stupid. Now, you may be thinking, what is a Cindy Barrow 3? And I honestly wouldn't blame you, but Cindy Cindy Bear is a pretty large creator in the community, you know, artist and all of that. But if you recognize the avatar and do not recognize the name, that's likely because you remember Scootaloo Loves Hands, their former name. You know, like the same face syndrome drama and all that. And I don't even know why I'm explaining who she is to you. You know, you know who she is. That's why most of you clicked on the thumbnail because you saw her in the thumb. I'm. I'm why? Okay, now that I've given you the basic rundown about who she is, I think I should just tell you about what's actually happening in the drama. Holy Do you like how I walk? Do you like how I talk? Do you like how my face just seems to I have a wonderful wife, I have a powerful job, she criticizes me for being egocentric. Now, around the range of three months ago, Cindy Bear had released a video called We Need to Talk, where she would say that she would address all the negative things and problems that people have with her in one big video. So, she asked them to leave it in the comments, or even make their own video on it. Now, the community responded with a bunch of things that they have issues with, some that I won't be mentioning in this video, because again, like I said at the start of the video, they're obviously bad. But, some of these arguments that the community brought up were actually kind of stupid in my opinion, and other people's opinions that I may or may not have taken a bit of inspiration from. I'm looking at you, Gator. But without further ado, I might as well get into these dumb points. <laughs> alright, alright. I want to start off with the first claim that I believe is the most stupid. People are trying to make the point that Cindy is romanticizing abuse by in a self insert by self inserting herself in a relationship with Nightmare Sands and Arison, and that's romanticizing abuse apparently. Now I just like to point out, I I really just like to point out. It's fucking Undertale Sand. I don't understand how people take self-insert shipping so seriously. And I went searching far and wide. It's Pokemon to understand. Sorry, I had, to, I had to do that. But I went searching far and wide throughout almost all the Nightmare Sands AU self-insert relationship posts that I couldn't find a single one that mentions abuse or has abuse in the storyline or even in the panel. There was no abuse whatsoever that I could find. Now, the person that I took inspiration from on making this video named Gator Collector or Collection. Their video was amazing, I'll link it in the description. But they actually gave the benefit of the doubt to the people that were claiming that Cindy was romanticizing abuse and chose two of them that could possibly just slightly be relating to abuse. But you see, I'm not gonna be so nice because even those were lackluster of any form of possible abuse. So I'll take a look at the two and I'll tell you all. It's bedtime, but I'm not sleepy. I also tried to design a bed for the Newt Newt Kidnaps Me AU. I really need a shorter name for the a AU. Anyway, here you go. Throws the art at you. I don't even need to say much about this. He, 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 what? Oh, the horrors. Look at all the abuse happening in this panel. Now, since that one was full of a lot of stupid claims, I'll just check the other one. Wanted to draw Newt Mirror being scary because I haven't drawn him in a while. Again, I just don't see it, man. It's that wholesome. It's, it's just wholesome. I want you to tell me where the problem is here. There are certain moments when you can tell a piece is serious or there is some goofy sort of intention behind it. When you look at this, look at Cinny's face in the photo. Do you really believe that? That's the face of complete terror and shock. Obviously not, because it does not look like that at all. And again, if I gave the benefit of the doubt, there is no depiction of abuse. It's slightly, slightly implying it. Slightly. Like, you have to really dig deep to try and find it, that it's implying. Oh, the ICU is so scary, guys. Throw up, man. So you can see the claim that Cindy is promoting abuse and romanticizing abuse and showing abuse to her child audience, which, first of all, I'll get to that point in a couple segments on. Probably in, like, the third one. So stick to then, then you'll see my response to that one. And second of all, it's untrue because this isn't even abuse. Alright, I'm a fan of Floofy, but I'm gonna have to call them out for using that in their video 
as a point. Which again, it's been three months since Floopy's video, so good on him. He's likely improved, and hopefully he realizes that that was kind of a dumb point. A very good point made by Gator Creation is that it'd be more romanticizing abuse if Cindy turned these bad characters, because they're known for being bad, I mean nightmares in the fucking name, but made these two bad characters that would be known to be abusive in a relationship good. If they were all ooh soft boys instead of being these big bad, it'd be more romanticizing abuse than having them being bad. I mean, if I put this into fucking perspective, if you self-inserted shipped yourself with the Grinch, and the Grinch is known for not being very good, does that mean you are thereby romanticizing abuse for being in a self-inserted relationship with- why, fuck! By being in a self-inserted relationship with somebody bad? No? Really? So for the conclusion of this segment, no one's romanticizing abuse. Y'all are just fucking dumb. Oh my god, lawnmower, shut up. Let me show you right now for you give it up. <laughs> now let's get into the supporting pedophilia claims. Woo! Now you may already be thinking, um... Salty, are you fucking high? I don't think anyone would make the claim about pedophilia. Nobody would do- Well, yeah, shut up, they did. So, Cindy had made a character by the name of Scootaloo, whose age was 13 years old, and then she self-insured- She self-insert shipped herself with Sans the Skeleton. People are calling that supporting pedophilia. And I'd just like to say, she made the character when she was 13 and didn't bother to change it. I really don't understand where the supporting pedophilia came from. But you're supporting pedophilia because you made a character when you were 13 and you're made their age 13 so it can be more relatable and more of the self part when you self insert ship yourself with another character fucking idiots the biggest fucking idiots this is really stupid if you made the claim that she supported pedophilia you are an idiot because first of all you just got to think about it like a normal person nobody in their right mind would support pedophilia and the people who do support pedophilia are usually pretty open about that man fucking go on twitter and look at all the map allies they're pretty open about that shit but if you're going to make the claim that she is supporting pedophilia even though she She's not, that hasn't- what- what? Now that I'm actually starting to think about people actually saying that, it's just really stupid. What? Where did we get this? Where did- where- when did- when did we shape this? When did- when did this happen? Well, what kind of gets me angry is that they're comparing a crime to someone's self-insert shipping. Self-insert shipping, I'm gonna be real, it's kind of fucking weird. Not my cup of tea, but that's the thing. It's not so serious. Oh, you're supporting a crime. Cindy literally sitting here just self-insert shipping. No, actually, ironically, Cindy has a series on her channel, it's like, Sans Fangirl Man or something where she would take a look at some sans fangirls and make fun of them actually that's something that would be my cup of tea and most of these people who are making these videos are underage because uh kids are usually the people that would ship themselves with sans you don't see adults coming out and being like yep i uh i ship myself with sans and i'm gonna make a youtube video saying that sans is mine and nobody else can have them but majority of these people who are self-insert shipping themselves with sans from undertale are children so why aren't we calling out them for supporting pedophilia because they're children yeah, Cindy's still technically a minor. She's 17. She's gonna be turning into an adult in this September. So people self-insert shipping with them as minors is supporting pedophilia. Or at least their characters being minors. I don't understand this community, man. I genuinely don't. It's- it's weird and it's- 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 it's weird. I'll just say it's weird. Just wait. Just wait. BBC go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two. You think, whoa, salty, salty, rape, rape fantasies? That's a little out. You're going a little off the hatchet. And there, I'd agree with you. Now, there are multiple screenshots of Cindy saying that she has a rape kink, and even ones where she says she wants to get raped. And it's gotten to a point so bad where she has actually gone to therapy for her rape obsession because she would cry to herself to sleep at night. Now, you may be thinking, well, these screenshots are leaked, so somebody must have leaked them. Well, the worst part is the person she was venting this to was a private friend who she thought was trustworthy and she could vent in a safe space. Which I like to mention, people are calling her out because she has a rape fantasy. Just shaming people's kinks for no apparent reason. And trying to add it onto your argument about how she's a bad person. No, I don't think this is bad necessarily. Because if you remember, Belle Delphine got cancelled on Twitter at one point, And the entire commentary community went up in a rile about it. Because one of her tweets had her, you know, d d you know doing the, doing the, doing the, doing, doing, having sex, alright? And, you know, doing that act with someone in, like, a scenario of a 
a kidnapping or unconsexual intercourse. But the problem is that people who were trying to cancel her, even though Belle Delphine was above the age of consent, she's 21 years of age, and the other person was a consenting adult. So these fantasies are our right to carry out because it's simply a fantasy. Now, what's happening with Cinny in Cinny's case is on a much different level, as in it's a whole nother notch down. It's not as, you know, as Belle Delphine. But the difference here is that Cinny is not yet an adult, but Cinny is fantasizing being raped by a fictional character. And the fact is that this fantasy isn't uncommon in people. So people are trying to shame her for having a fetish that she's already trying to work out with a therapist. Now, I want to go back to the one thing I said during the first segment of this video, where I talked about people saying, oh, well, you're showing, you're showing rape and abuse to your underage fan. Well, I'd like to whip that back around right now. So what I just want to point out for my final point in this video is that this was in a private conversation. Her rape fantasies were in a private conversation. Never has she ever mentioned it publicly. I want to express that and I want to express that there was no abuse left in the relationship between her and Nightmare Sands. That there's no abuse there. So the fact is the people that are talking about this and saying that she has this rape fantasy and saying that there's abuse inside the relationship are really the people who are showing abuse and rape to underage fans. The fuck are they fighting for? They're going against their own goddamn points. In conclusion, the situation is very reminiscent of the Sashley situation. Finding out from someone's kinks from a private conversation with a private DM with a safe space friend and shaming them for their kinks. Oh, and also calling them a bad person, all that, yada yada yada. But man, I'm really tired. Uh, um, I'm, I'm probably gonna edit this and then have a nap. But this has been the end of the video. If you don't mind hitting the like and subscribe button, it motivates me to make more content just like this. And we're also nearing 300 subs, so if you could just hit that subscribe button, then we'll make it to a new milestone. Thank you for watching, and good day.